Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you're returning, thank you very much. Please remember to hit that like, subscribe button, and share my video with all your friends. It really helps to grow my channel and uh, that's the goal here. So this morning we are going down to Indian Bluff Wild, Wildlife uh, Refuge. We're going to go down there and do an overnight camp. It's supposed to be up into the high 40s today. It's very windy, but I think where we're going to be right next to the river, we're going to be uh, protected from the wind. So I've got the TJ here loaded up with quite a bit of stuff. Got the rooftop tent on the back. We're going to be going over here to a gas station, meeting up with one friend, and then we're going to head down to another place and meet up with someone else. Uh, two of us are camping. The other guy's just going to hang out for the day. So we're looking forward to it. See you in a little bit. Kyle, you ready to go? Go ahead. Kyle Jeep is a 2016 JK Oscar Mike Edition. And Tony has a 2020 JT Rubicon with 37 inch tires and a really nice overland setup. I'm driving a 98 TJ with 2 inch lift, 33 inch tires, and pulling my home built rooftop tent trailer. It's safe to say, as you can see here, Tony JT has seen some real action. You ready to roll? Let's go. Just something about camping that takes me back to a simpler time. Even though we use modern equipment, it's still time travel for me. Back to a place and a time where we camped as a family. Just something about it that either you love it or you don't, but it can't be denied. There's absolutely zero wind down here. That wind's blowing 30, 40 mile an hour up there. Yeah. And it's like zero wind right here. I get my Tough Tough Trailhead tent set up as Tony worked on getting the campfire going. Then I cut a little firewood we found nearby and just take a few moments to set and enjoy the warmth. We had found this campsite after exploring a short trail nearby. Snow covered or when wet, this short trail is a nice little challenge. The campsite is located on the banks of the Maquoketa River. The Maquoketa River is a tributary of the Mississippi River approximately 150 miles long in northeastern Iowa. Its watershed covers 1,600 plus square miles within a rural region of rolling hills and farmland southwest of Dubuque. The river and its tributaries mark the border of the Driftless area of Iowa, with the areas east of it not having been covered by ice during the Ice Age. Its name derived from Makokota, which means Bear River.
As the sun started getting lower in the sky, we began to make the evening meal preparation. I fabricate rocket stoves and had recently made modifications to my Rocky Jr. model. With a changeable burner that was flared to produce more updraft, this change did prove to fix the burn back in the fuel chamber I had previously experienced. So I was excited to try it out with a walk and some bourbon chicken I had prepped the day before. Very good. Would you be mad if you ordered it at a restaurant? No. How about you, Tony? That's good. It's okay then, right? It is good. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. But I'll take it. After that solid attempt to make supper, we enjoyed the campfire and began the conversation. Everything from food to upgrades and future trips. I hear the, uh, the chili mac when the best. I've always wanted to try them, but I don't know. They're Just good. can't blame myself, too. They're good to have in case of emergencies. You're looking to get a winch, right? Yeah. Is that what you're going to do next? Yeah, I'm going to do the Harbor Freight Badlands winch. That's probably where I'm leaning towards too. A lot of people use them, so it's pretty dependable. Soon we said goodbye to Kyle and Tony turned in for the night. But me, I was drawn to the solitude and the quietness. Nothing but the crunch of the snow under my feet and the campfire. So yeah, just sitting here relaxing and thinking about today, how much fun I had. It was a much needed day. So Tony and I were talking this afternoon, making some plans and it looks like we've got a lot of things in store for the future, and I'm excited about that. So, I think it's about uh, 9.30. So, I'm going to head off here, and we'll catch you in the morning. But guys, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It was uh, it was tough last night. It was cold. Uh, don't have any cell phone service down here, so I don't know what the temperature actually is. But my guess is it's in the teens. I don't think it's even in the 20s. Tony had planned to leave real early and I heard him leave about 4.30 that morning. So I got busy and made myself a little breakfast and just enjoyed the solitude, the quietness, and the beauty of the area. After a hearty breakfast of bacon, eggs, and toast, I got everything cleaned up and put away, and started packing up camp. Using my outdoor shower made from a lawn and garden sprayer, I put out the remaining coals from last night's campfire. As I break down my rooftop tent, I'm already planning my next trip. Kind of a bittersweet moment. The dread of one trip coming to a close, yet the excitement of the next one already beginning.
We're all packed up and ready to hit the road. Looks like the sun's went away and looks like the clouds are rolled in. So I think that storm's not very far off, so I want to get home before it hits. I can't fully describe how fulfilling this one night of camping was. I guess for me, it's just a reminder of the need to take some time for yourself. But soon, it was time to land the drone, and since I was back in cell phone coverage again, I made the call home. It's always good to hear her voice. Hello? I'm just heading home now. I had no reception down there whatsoever. I had to come completely up on top of the big hill to, to get anything. I wasn't going to walk that far last night. So, all right, look forward. Love you. Bye. And just like that, I was back in the present. But don't worry, soon I will be back out again looking for more back road adventures. So please do me a big favor, hit that like button, subscribe, share, and comment on my video. See you next time.